How you can avoid real estate cyber scams, that's the topic of my next video. How you can avoid real estate cyber scams, that's the topic of today's video. Hello everybody, my name is Mark Schreier and I'm a licensed sales associate with Century 21 American Homes Real Estate right here in Long Island, New York. We are in week three or four of the lockdown. Every day seems to be blending together. Most people are working from home that are in essential services and realtors are doing most of their transactions virtually. I have the ability to sell a house with e-signatures for both buyers and sellers online. And with that opens up a lot, of, a lot of opportunity for scammers trying to hack into the real estate pro, uh, process. I'm going to share with you four tips that you can use today to try to safeguard yourself from these particular uh, hacks. Uh, tip number one, definitely only use secured email. If you're not sure what secure email is, there should be an HTTPS in the URL address up on the top, the S standing for secure, and or a padlock up on the top left of your screen um, when you're looking at it that stands for secured. Even if the website is secure, and this is tip number two, or the email is secured, never send secure uh, information about yourself through an email. What do I mean by that? Don't send your social security numbers. Don't send passwords to sensitive uh, websites. Uh, don't send bank account or routing numbers, even if it is a secured site. The next thing that you need to know, or tip number three, don't open emails from people you don't know who they are. A lot of us are getting tons of emails from people promising us the world. Don't open them. Send them right to your spam folder. If it's an email from a friend or relative, but it's something looks unusual about it, call them, text them, ask them, confirm if they sent the email. If they did, great. If they didn't, send it on to your spam folder. And tip number four, don't use unsecured Wi-Fi. Uh, hopefully in a couple of weeks, we'll be back to uh, business almost as usual, going into coffee shops and things of that nature naturally with a bubble on her head, but going into a coffee shop and drinking with a straw. And with that, you are ha you have access to unsecured Wi-Fi. By the fact that it's unsecured, it gives whoever might be hacking the ability to get into your computer. So make sure you only use secured Wi-Fi, that is password encrypted Wi-Fi. I hope these four tips were helpful. If uh, they were, definitely give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if anybody here is looking to buy or sell a house, when the lockdown's over, I'm offering a free ebook on buying and selling. So click the link down below and I'll send that right out to you. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next video.